Hi everyone, Pavel here from Unique Japan. How are you? I, uh, I have a lot to say about this next Shin Shinto Masterpiece by Hiro Fusa. So without further ado, let's get into the sword. Uh, beautiful wakizashi. Just a, a clever little puppy. Uh, we produced a custom koshirai for this sword, which I'm uh, extremely proud of. Um, it has a beautiful Ishime finish, uh, which is a stone finish to the scabbard. And I'll get to the uh, fittings in, in a second, but they feature a, a koi, which is a carp of a waterfall, and a, a dragon. But first, the sword. Okay, the swordsmith is Hido Fusa, and this sword was made in, my notes say, Ansei uh, Gonen, right? Ansei Gonen, which is uh, 158 years ago, Shogatsu. So basically exactly 158 years ago, 1858, uh, and it's just a dynamite little piece. In fact, it's inside a very famous book called the Shinto Zuikan on page 353. And we'll get to that in a second as well. But it's just clean, gorgeous, highly collectible, um, wonderful. So the shape is uh, actually it's called Kanmuri. Otoshi, Kamuri is crown, Otoshi means falling, so Kamuri Otoshi. Um, also has a Naginata groove, you know those Naginata, those big long halberd swords. This is a, a kind of a Naginata Naoshi like shape where they fix the Naginata. So it has beautiful Naginata grooves. So if you like grooves, you like a, an interesting, different looking uh, sword, this is uh, one for you. Beautiful Choji Midare. The swords is an impeccable, healthy shape, and it's no wonder that it was featured in the book. So, without further ado, let's get into uh, the the hamon and all the certificates, because there's four certificates with this with this gorgeous sword. So maybe Daiki, you can come around here. Uh, let's see if we can grab the the hamon in this puppy. So the hamon is a choji midare. Uh, Hirofusa was known for. Uh, for replicating swords. Remember in that Shin Shinto period piece, it was all about trying to recreate those masterpieces from the past. Here's, look at this. I mean, I can just stop talking. This is just, this is just words. Wow. So it's called Koshi Bidake, which is kind of like spaced uh, Choji Bidare. So it, it's just, I mean, it's just gorgeous. 40.5 centimeters is the is the length the Nagasa. 1.0 is the uh, the uh, curvature, and a nice wide 2.94 centimeters of the Motohawa. Let's get a kind of close up view of this. I mean, you just would never tire of this sword. Absolutely extraordinary. Let's look at this boshi here. So he was known for doing great bizen recreations. Actually, um, Hirofusa um, was is from the Mishina school, and his yeah there we go, um, and the Mishina school of course famous from uh, from Yamashiro from Kyoto province, but he apparently lived in Iga, which is the home of the ninja. Iga province. Wow, just what a fabulous piece. Okay, so shall we tackle the Nakago? Well, actually, let me get let me get to the the uh, the Koshina here first. Look at this. Isn't this fabulous? Now, that's a koi up a waterfall, climb a waterfall, and as the saying goes, the koi tried for a hundred years trying to climb the waterfall, and finally one koi made it, and rised above and made it to the and to the top of the waterfall and turned in, and the gods recognized uh, his perseverance and turned him into a golden dragon. And so this is a swimming dragon. And we have a certification for this, uh, this Tsuba from the Mino school, Moko shape. Oh, I mean, and then we have here on the side, look at these funky uh, Shisa lions climbing out of the uh, the tsuka. Let's see if we can get a nice focus on that. Perfect. And these are like little bars of of uh, of shakudo. 
I mean, just first class. I'm very proud of this Koshidai. If it's not already obvious. What a beautiful piece. So, uh, you know, Koshidai says never give up. It's all about just persevering for believing in yourself, believing in the projects you're doing, and believing in your family, and believing in life balance. There's a lot of messages behind here. So, uh, okay, let's get to the... Uh, if I can get... Oh, I can't find my pin. So we're going to go to the, uh, the Nakago here. Let's take a look. Thank you. Okay. So, okay. So here we go. This is, this is a challenge. Very long uh, Nakago, full of information, which usually is a precursor to a pretty important sword. Okay. So, ready? Seshu. Seshu. Kuwana. Kuwana Jiu. So, Seshu province, living in Kuwana. Mishina. So, there's the Mishina. It's his family background there. So, Mishina. Gime Sai. Gime Sai. So, I'm not sure if this is a play on word, because Gime, of course, means to reproduce. Uh, so the fact that he um, did a lot of uh, copies of great swords, maybe that's a play on words, or Gimei Sai. Hirofusa Saku, so made by Hirofusa. Okay. Over here, here's the date. So it's dated. Ansei Gonen Shogatsu. Shogatsu. So the New Year's Day, uh, he was up bright and early after after celebrating in the New Year. So, New Year's Day, 1858, this sword was made, okay, 158 years ago. Now, on the far right here, we have Rak Sui Sai. Okay. Uh, Konomu, is this is Konomu, right? Is this is Konomu? Yeah, Konomu uh, Kore. So, Rak Sui Sai, apparently this guy, um, he liked it. So Raksuisai, we're not, we're not entirely sure who this person is, but it must have been somebody of honorable position. He likes this. So he's kind of given his nod and loves the sword. So this, uh, we of course will translate everything as we always do at Unique Japan for our clients on the certificates. This is a uh, Yushito. Eventually it will be published in a book. Uh, the Yushito from the NTHK. All right. So Yushito. Um, I love this paper. Uh, this is the uh, Koshu Tokubetsu Kicho Token. So an extraordinarily precious sword from, um, well, Showa Gojunen, which is uh, 1975. So 1975 Nigatsu, February 4th. Uh, and uh, as you know, these older certificates have the rubbing of the, of the Nakuko, which I love very much. This is a terrific, I just love this certificate. Basically, it's a Tokubetsu Hozon of the day, really. It might even be considered a, a one step higher than that. So I love these old certificates. Fantastic. Uh, here's a picture of the, uh, you, can, sure, you can keep holding this iPad here. Uh, this is the, uh, a, a shot from the, uh, from the book, the Shinto Zuikan, page number 353. So obviously a, a, a blade of, of great standing, makes it very collectible, uh, and it's been featured in this book, and we'll get that little bits of information translated for you too. Um, in the NTHK, Token Torekshi, they have like a book, and they also featured this sword here. A copy of this book will be uh, included uh, uh, for the next owner of this blade. All right. Finally, uh, we have two more certificates. This is a, a certificate of the Koshirai, all the information about here, and the Ishime, and the the koi and the waterfall, that will all be uh, translated for you. Nice to have a, an official certificate for the Koshidai. And finally, the Mino Den uh, Swimming Dragon uh, is also included as a certificate. So if we have four uh, very good certificates with this blade. The blade's in Shirasaya. Here's the Shirasaya and also a Tsunagi. Tsunagi, remember, this is the, uh, the wooden blade that goes into the Koshidai when the blade is not inside it's Shirasaya, and the Shirasaya too, first class. Everything about this blade is first class. Has um, buffalo horn, so buffalo horn on the uh, Shirasaya. And even the pin, which I could try and find my Makugi Nuki later, but has also um, out of buffalo horn. So all in all, a very impressive sword that I'm delighted to introduce uh, to you at UJ. 
Um, I hope it finds somebody that will cherish it because it's just a dino. All right, bye for now.